Hey everyone, my name is Olga and I'm happy to see you here in this new video. And today we are going to try some new products from Kika Milana. We are going to try four products from Magnetic Nights and four products from Gloss Supreme. By the way, final result you can see right now. So let's start. We are going to start from Gloss Supreme Bare Skin Foundation in shade 2. It's water-based foundation, so please shake well before using it. It should have a um, slightly dewy finish, not even slightly. I decided to take shade 2 because the first one seemed a little bit pink, in my personal opinion, to me. And that's why I took shade 2. I don't know whether it would work for me or not. It seems it does work for me, so great. Texture is thin and it is expected because it's watery foundation. Finish is dewy. Mm, coverage, I would say between low and average. And I do wonder whether it's possible to layer this product or no. Let's check it out. I've applied one thin layer and I will try to layer this product. Finish is dewy, <laughs> definitely dewy. And if you have uh, dry prone skin, I think that um, it is a good choice in your case. If you have oily prone skin, you wouldn't like it because it's way too glowy in your case. And it shouldn't be super long lasting in case of oily prone skin. In case of normal, I would say yes. But bear in mind that this product may oxidize a little bit. A bit, but still it may. I'm gonna layer it and I'm gonna apply a concealer and uh, we are gonna try blushes, blushes, yes. I've applied two concealers, Manhattan Rimmel in shade 20 for covering uh, some dark circles right here and for covering blemishes. And um, as well, I've used the product from Tarte in shade 12N. Now we are gonna try blushes. Our first <laughs> blush for today is gonna be in shade 2 Magnetic Nights. I'm not that impressed by this product. By the way, it smells so good, but pigmentation is so, so low. And the packaging, by the way, looks quite nicely. And the second product is gonna be from Gloss Supreme Collection. Not this one, this one. I took in shade 1 because shade 2 was sold out and I couldn't really find it. Here we have beautiful blush and I would say, well, it is a blush, but actually it might be used as a contour, <laughs> actually. And we will see, we will see how I'm gonna use this particular shade. But first of all, let's start from this blush because I am pretty sure that I'm gonna layer over it another product. Just take a look. No pigment, almost no pigment. If you like blush without, without blush, you would probably like it. And uh, by the way, don't apply this product like this, because you may take off your foundation. But if you want to see some pigment, you have to apply it directly on face. And take a look, I took off some foundation. So that's why take your hand and apply product on your hand. And only after, grab this product on a brush and apply it. And I have to return back my foundation. <laughs> okay, it happens. You have to apply a lot for seeing this product on your face. And that's why I'm not that impressed. And it would work nicely only in case of um, dry brown skin because this product itself is quite quite fat at some point and um, it won't be long lasting in case of oily prone skin in case of normal it may work but it's better to apply powder over but you know what as soon as you apply powder this pigment would disappear that's life now let's try this beautiful blush and i think that this blush is a little bit, a little bit better. It has dewy finish. By the way, this product slightly, I mean, this one <laughs> has a bit dewy finish as well. So grabbing a little bit and starting applying it 
Of course, I will have to layer it and we have more pigment here, of course. By the way, shades are quite familiar. Easy to blend, easy to apply it, should work nicely in case of uh, dry prone skin, normal skin. In case of oily, you have to apply something over because this product doesn't stain. I would prefer this product instead of this one. This may work, may work, but not in all that cases. I've applied a powder, but before I apply it uh, one more time, this blush in order to see it right now. Yes, it's not super visible, but still it is a little bit visible. And now we are going to try a bronzer and probably, probably what we're going to do with this blush. It reminds me a bronzer. Okay, I will try to layer it. Why not? Why not? But anyway, we're gonna start from this particular bronzer. It's not dusty. Super, super, super. And even slightly creamy. No, 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 <laughs> no scent. But mm, something smells nicely. I don't know what. Okay, anyway, applying a little bit and blending. Pigmentation is average. Beautiful bronzing shade. It's quite neutral, but of course, as it is a bronzer, it's slightly warm. <laughs> Not slightly, it is warm. Has a little bit of red and a little bit of orange, but it's not super orange and it's not super red. Easy to blend, and of course, I will have to layer it today, and I have to do it right now because it's not that pigmented. Finish is, I would say it's slightly dewy, lightly, but still. So let's layer a little bit more. Mm, works nicely, like it. I'm taking my words back. This bronzer is not neutral. It appears a little bit more orange when you start blending it and layering it. So if you apply a thin layer, it's not going to be that visible, but if you layer it, it's going to be visible. But still, I like this texture. It's thin, silky, and it reminds me more um, high-end products. And uh, by the way, this product blurs texture a little bit, but still, I like it. Now, let's try to apply this blush. Um, don't know what we are going to have. I'm gonna apply a little bit. If I don't like it, I'm gonna apply this blush over. Anyway, let's find out. Oh! Hmm. It looks a bit peachy. And uh, it looks kind of funny. So probably I will keep it or I will add a little bit of cream over just a little bit. But let's try. Let's try. Grabbing a brush and grabbing a little bit of this blush and be careful while applying a cream product over powder because it may stuck so pet 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 like it and we have as a result slightly pink plus peachy lovely lovely i've applied a highlighter from kika milana festival glow shade one now we are gonna try Gloss Supreme Water Retouch Lip Styler in shade 2. It wasn't that easy to find this product, not really, because it was sold out. It smells like caramel and feels nicely on lips. But you can find this formula easily. 
Mm, not sticky, but you know what? It has flavor and it's slightly sour. Mm. <laughs> okay. By the way, shade is not visible. This product is not really pigmented. We are gonna discuss this product later on and I'm gonna show you some familiar products. And I think that I found and I know a product which works a little bit better and which doesn't have this um, sour flavor. Now we are moving to eyes and we have two products to try. A beautiful palette. Let me show it to you. Yep, beautiful cold palette and we are gonna do smoky eyes today. And uh, as well, we have a single eyeshadow in this beautiful velvet formula. I haven't tried it before. I know that it's not new to Kika Milana, but it's new for me, <laughs> personally for me. And I'm gonna use this beauty on eyelid. And uh, let me quickly tell you what I'm gonna do. We are gonna use two shades, these two shades on upper lid. And these two shades I'm gonna use on lower lid because they are way too cold and they would work nicely together. This shade is gonna be the main one. I'm gonna apply it on the upper lid and I'm gonna blend it using this particular shade. So it's gonna be our crease shade and I'm gonna use it for blending eyeshadows into skin. Let's start. As you can see, we are gonna have active makeup look oh it's not dusty beautiful don't ask me why i did it <laughs> i'm not gonna use any eyeshadow bases so you're gonna see how products this product behaves starting from the center mm, pigmentation is good i would say it's quite high Applying this product till the crease and a little bit, a little bit higher. And uh, I'm gonna add it fully over the lid. And as well, I'm gonna add the shade till here probably on the lower lid. And let's do it quickly, starting from outer corner and adding the shade right here as well changing the brush and uh, grabbing a transition shade and gonna start from the crease i can't really say that my eyeshadows are super pigmented they are pigmented but ideally you should layer them okay Maybe it won't be that easy to blend, but I will do my best because, you know, I can't really blend this line right here and it's not that good. But anyway, I will do my best for blending it. So blending in all directions and paying attention to this particular line because we shouldn't have and we shouldn't see the line. Changing the brush and I'm gonna use a bronzer for blending everything into skin. Why not? Switching the brush and gonna add gray shade on the lower lid right here. It's gonna be a transition shade. Unfortunately, the darker shade may stuck, and that's life. And uh, it's visible slightly right here, and um, okay, back to transition shade, and I'm gonna use it for blending the edge right here. Time for this beautiful single eyeshadow. Grabbing it on a flat brush, and I'm gonna apply it in the center right here. Mm, looks interesting, but may emphasize uh, skin texture. And please don't forget to blend edges. Back to transition shade and blending right here. Now we are gonna try this lovely fold shimmer. I'm gonna start from the lower lid. I'm gonna apply it right here. 
what I'm gonna do with the inner corner. I'm not that sure. Okay, let's apply a little bit in the inner corner as well. Why not? By the way, the shade is slightly dry. Near lash line and in the waterline I'm gonna add dark brown. And of course I'm gonna blend edges. We are done with eye makeup, only lashes are left and of course I'm gonna do everything in background. Well, 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 I thought everything would be a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, it wasn't that easy to blend uh, matte eyeshadows. They may stack a little bit, especially the darker shade. And if we talk about the gray one, uh, it's barely visible on eyelid. Of course, it's visible, but you have to layer it and uh, yeah, not that good. Back to lips. We have one more product to try. It is a lipstick in shade 1 related to this uh, gloss. I still feel something sour on my lips, so it's not that convenient. So if you are sensitive, you would definitely not like this product. But it feels nicely and it's quite uh, nourishing and I don't feel dryness while wearing this product and my dry patches here and are less visible. So I'm gonna remove it and gonna apply this beautiful lipstick. Mm. <laughs> well, well, well. Is it really a lipstick or it is a lip balm? It is a lipstick, demi matte lipstick. Mm. Would you mind telling me? Pigment. Guys, where is it? I can barely see it. Pigmentation is way too low. You have to layer this product for seeing it. Of course it may work and actually I'm gonna do a lip combo for final look, but this lipstick is slightly firm and it's not super pigmented. They can do better because I know that they can and they have quite nice um, lipstick formulas but this formula is not the best one okay I'm gonna finish my makeup look I'm gonna show you eye makeup closely and we are gonna discuss everything Time to discuss everything and before we start let me tell you what i've used on lips of course as a lip liner i decided to take a product from essence in shade 14 by the way a beautiful slightly warm shade and of course i've decided to keep our lipstick from kika milana and as a part of this combo this lipstick looks fine <laughs> but uh, as a single product i'm not that impressed what we are gonna do? We are gonna start from Gloss Supreme as this collection was released two months ago <laughs> or something like this and we are gonna discuss products we've tried from this collection. And by the way, when we are done with our discussion you will be able to see where test and later on we will discuss other products from these collections and uh, two new releases from uh, Kika Milano. We should discuss it. Okay. Back to Gloss Supreme, Bare Skin Foundation. I like it. Perfect foundation, looks beautiful on skin, doesn't emphasize uh, texture, easy to blend, easy to apply. It's water-based foundation and it reminds me slightly of these foundations from Maybelline and L'Oreal, but these two foundations contain alcohol denet. And due to this, they might be way too dry for dry prone skin. This foundation should work nicely for dry prone skin. Easy to apply, easy to blend, um, looks really beautiful on skin. Has dewy finish, so it wouldn't really work in case of oily prone or oily skin, especially in summer. <laughs> if you have dry prone skin, normal skin, beautiful foundation, you definitely need. Nice product for daily looks and uh, I would say coverage is between low and average. Foundation 
coverage is slightly buildable so you can layer it but if you have some pimples some dark spots or some red spots it's better to apply concealer over i like it easy to work with it and if you have warm undertone take the second shade because uh, it is warm and uh, the first one is slightly pink yeah of course it might be dark for you right now but you can combine it with uh, with a white foundation actually and in this case everything should be more or less fine i like it beautiful product moving on and now we are going to discuss blush or bronzer bronzer we're gonna we're gonna start from bronzer first of all i like this packaging it looks so gorgeous and beautiful and it's slightly plastic but anyway it looks nicely and it goes quite nicely as well <laughs> we have two oh sorry we started from from bronzer bronzer i like this texture and i like this formula pigmentation is quite low and it is okay for a face product face products shouldn't be super pigmented otherwise you might be in trouble <laughs> So easy to blend, easy to apply, might be easily layered. This shade, I have shade 2. It, uh, it's written here that it's neutral beige, but actually I don't really agree. When you apply a little bit, it appears a little bit neutral. But when you start layering it, um, it appears more orange and red. It's okay for warm undertone. It's okay for neutral undertone, but if you have pale skin it would appear slightly red not even red more orange on you it's not super orange but still all bronzers are warm are warm all of them if you want to see a cold bronzer you should take a sculptor not a bronzer so in this case you need a contouring shade looks nicely by the way the finish is slightly dewy and it reminds me of some more high-end products because of the texture the texture itself is thin and slightly silky i have quite many bronzers from pippa milano i have more <laughs> actually and i think that this formula is slightly new at least for me because i haven't seen anything like this before it reminds me slightly this bronzer from kiko milana beauty essentials but it's not exactly the same i think that here um, the texture is slightly thinner than here well here the texture is thin as well plus this um, bronzer is more matte this bronzer is more it's slightly slightly dewy and satin works nicely i definitely definitely like this product and suggest trying it blush i have in shade one and uh, when i bought it i thought that i would use this particular product as a bronzer no <laughs> no no in my case it appears in the palette as a bronzer shade but actually on skin it looks um, more peachy and actually a beautiful shade of texture reminds me slightly the bronzer but it's not exactly the same um remind me but yeah not 100 percent the same it is to blend easy to apply looks beautiful pigmentation is between low and average might be easily layered not dusty at all by the way this product is not dusty as well impressed by this particular blush it's creamy and it's slightly shimmery and I would say more dewy than shimmery. Looks beautiful, easy to blend, easy to apply, doesn't dissolve foundation, it's quite pigmented. Pigmentation is between low and average, but it's not that low as here. <laughs> By the way, you don't need this blush at all. You're gonna use a lot of it, just simply for seeing <laughs> this product on your face. Here, you don't really need to use a lot. And by the way, I've tried to apply it over a powder based product perfect no questions no problems i do like this product works nicely i'm impressed and by the way if you combine these two shades for instance you can apply a powder based blush then you can apply a little bit over um, cream based by the way i did it this way today and i think it looks beautiful and gorgeous and as a result you would um, see something peachy 
but it, with a bit of pink. Beautiful shade, like it. Last product from this collection, a Gloss Supreme Watery Touch Lip Styling. <sighs> it's slightly sour. It has scent and it smells quite nicely. It smells like caramel and a bit of vanilla, but at the same time, you feel something sour as well here. And on lips, you feel that this product is slightly sour. And if you're sensitive, I am, <laughs> I am quite sensitive, probably you wouldn't like it. Uh, pigmentation is way too low, but product works and looks nicely on lips. But of course, you have to layer it. And don't forget that you can twist this product in one direction, but you can't really twist it back. <laughs> so bear in mind. Anyway, feels nicely, looks nicely, no dryness while wearing it, but it reminds me of these products. And personally, I would prefer Elf Cosmetics or NYX instead of this product from Kik Milan. It's st still possible to find this product somewhere. Online it's not available, at least in Germany, but offline it is available. And it costs 14 euro. Around 11 and around 11 as well. So take these two. They are going to be better. Moreover, here we have a beautiful, nice scent and beautiful flavor. And now here we have more pigment. If you prefer something more pigmented, take the product from NYX. It, it's not sour at all. Not at all. Feels nicely, comfortable and not sticky. By the way, this product is not sticky as well. Product from Elf um, is slightly um, contain it, it does contain menthol a bit, but still, so it reminds me a plumper a bit. It smells uh, okay, but it might be slightly, slightly sour as well. But I think that this product is slightly worse. Feels nicely on lips. It's not sticky. It's quite. It's a little bit more pigmented than this product, and uh, it costs less actually and one more option for you nature republic beautiful korean product the only thing that don't apply a lot of it because this guy is quite sticky so if you don't if you don't really want to care and just simply want to apply take these two products nyx or f i think that they work a little bit a little bit better time for the second collection and magnetic nights we are gonna start from uh, the blush. I like the packaging. And uh, actually, if we talk about packagings from Kika Milana, they are amazing and I like them. And just take a look at this beauty. It looks really, really gorgeous and amazing. So yeah, Mwah. beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Blush, it looks funny. <laughs> it just simply looks funny. It smells nicely vanilla and a bit of caramel yeah beautiful packaging but i don't really like this product i mean you can definitely buy something familiar for instance from catrice and product from catrice costs less and has a bit more pigment this product is not that pigmented yes of course it looks quite nicely on face it's easy to work with this product it's easy to blend it it's not but the problem is that it's not pigmented and in order to see this product on face you have to layer it and you have to use a bit more product moreover you can't really apply it like this on your face if you do it you're gonna remove your foundation. You're gonna just simply take it off as I actually did it. So no need to apply it this way. You have to apply it so using, better to apply it with a brush or with fingers. With fingers, it would work nicely as well. But if you have oily prone skin or um, normal, even normal, normal skin, you can keep these blushes. Um, if I'm not mistaken, four shades are available. You can't really keep it as it is. You have to apply a powder over, and as soon as you apply a powder over this product, this product just simply disappears because it's not that pigmented. You can apply it again over powder. It's doable, it's possible to do it, but still, I'm not sure that it's worth um, 15, I think. 15 or 16 euro. It doesn't really worth it. If it costs, let's say, 8, maybe yes. More, 
I'm not sure. What do we have here from Graham's point of view? No single clue. Beautiful shade. Yeah, it may work, especially in case of dry brown skin, but I'm not impressed. You can find something familiar and something better and something cheaper. The next product is going to be... Um, let's talk about lipstick because I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm not impressed as well. I like the packaging. It looks amazing and reminds me more high-end uh, lipsticks. But dear Kika Milana, tell me, where can we find pigment? Because this product is not pigmented at all and the texture is quite firm. And actually it's one of the reasons you can't really see the pigment. You have to layer this lipstick and you have to apply at least, let's say, three, four layers in order to see this product on lips. I like this shade, beautiful shade for autumn and um, it looks nicely on lips. Yes, I do like it. It feels nicely on lips. I like uh, this demi matte finish, but we need more pigment or this product should be a little bit more creamy because I know that Kika Milana can do better. And uh, here it is okay, but it might be better like the packaging. I really, really like it. Eyeshadows. And we are gonna probably start from a single eyeshadow. I haven't tried this formula from Kika Milana before, but I know that it's not new to Kika Milana. It feels so nicely and it's slightly velvet. Looks beautiful on eyelid, doesn't emphasize texture. And um, the texture of this product is thin and uh, velvet. Not even silky, it's velvet. Feels beautiful, looks nicely on eyelid. And yes, if, if you never tried, have never tried this product, try it. It's quite nice, but of course, it's far better to use it as a part of some smoky and looks beautiful. I like it. It's quite pigmented as well. And it's more, it has more satin, satin velvet finish. Love it. Like it. Eyeshadow palette. I'd expect it more when I order it. And when I was filming swatches, I thought that, hmm, not bad. Texture. Is quite thin, silky, quite creamy, and actually this texture is quite nice. But eyeshadows may stuck, and it's not that easy to blend them. It's possible, of course, it's possible, but you have to spend a bit of time for blending these eyeshadows. So ah, they look nicely. Yes. Uh, color story is also quite nice, especially if you have cold undertone. This palette is definitely yours. But I thought that it would be better. That's life. It costs around 20 euro and I'm not quite sure that it's really worth it. It's beautiful, yes, but 20 euro I think it's a little bit too much for this palette. Now we are going to discuss everything. Uh, we are going to start from matte eyeshadows. Formula is exactly the same, so everything is fine. Pigmentation is between average and high. It's possible to layer these eyeshadows, but yeah, as I've already told you, they may stuck and it's not that easy to blend the darker shade. It's possible. Again, it's possible, but it may stuck a little bit. So you would have to spend a bit of more time. Um, shade color story. This shade is dark brown, cold dark brown. Beautiful shade, especially for cold undertone. Gray. And actually, I'm not that impressed by this um, particular shade because it appeared to me a little bit less pigmented as um, these two shades. At least it appeared for me. I don't know why, but on eyelid it wasn't that visible. But you can definitely layer it. This beautiful shade is a nice one, again, in case of cold undertone, because it's slightly curled. It's cold beige, I would say. Beautiful crease shade. Metallic. Mm, I think that it's a little bit dry, but it's possible to work with it. 
and uh, it is um, white gray plus a bit of yellow <laughs> something like this and um, works nicely looks beautiful on eyelid uh, might be layered but be careful that it's a little bit dry and it might be slightly slightly flaky so just simply bear in mind and i don't suggest um, layering it because as soon as you layer this eyeshadow it may emphasize skin texture a bit but if you apply a thin layer i think it looks beautiful don't you think so <laughs> at least uh, in the inner corner so from one side it's not bad from the other side i 20 ever is too much for it if it's gonna be on sales maybe but 20 euro mm, no you can wait a little bit and now let's take a look how this makeup behaves I have my makeup on around 12 hours, even a little bit more, around 13. <laughs> and now we are gonna check everything out. As you can see, bronzer, blush, everything looks perfectly. Foundation looks beautiful. Just take a look. Yeah, of course, there is a little bit right here. Well, but it is expected, almost 13 hours. So, <laughs> okay, I <laughs> makeup. Mm. perfect and um, i don't have any questions um, no creases no follows everything looks perfectly i would say lipstick is not super long lasting and actually it is quite expected plus it doesn't stain time to discuss other products from these collections and we are gonna start from gloss supreme and um, just in case, I'm gonna click <laughs> time to time. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna start from 3 in 1 uh, Karen lip balm. I decided not buying it because I simply do have quite many lip balms. And I thought that I, I just simply don't need it, at least right now. Of course, you can try it. And uh, I think that it should be more or less fine. And um, talking about uh, skincare, lip care from Kiko Milano, they do have quite nice products, just in case. The next product is called Liquid Glossifier. And well, actually it seems quite interesting. You can use this product as a finishing, um, I would say highlighter, or you can apply it on your eyelid. Please, please don't use such products uh, often and daily uh, for some daily looks and don't apply them directly on eyelid because when you apply any gloss based product on eyelid, your makeup is not going to be long lasting anymore because such products, they do dissolve products before. So it's more such products might be used for some videos, for some photo shootings and so on. For real life, not really, not really. But you can use it as a highlighter, for instance. Why not? Foundation we've tried. Lip lacquer. I thought about it. I thought about it and I wasn't sure whether I should buy this product or a lipstick. <laughs> as you can see, and as you know, I've decided to buy a lipstick, but it was a bad idea. I think that this product should be nice and I wanted to try it and I'm not sure whether it was available or online or no. Anyway, I think this product is quite interesting and uh, probably, probably I will try it or at least I will take a look on it when I go to Kika Milana. Glow Face Highlighter. It is a nice highlighter. It's not super bright. If we talk about such cream highlighters, they are not bright, but they are good in case of for some daily looks and they work quite nicely. Of course, you can find something familiar and for instance, you can find, uh, or you can take some cream highlighters from Catrice or Essence and they are gonna be more or less the same, actually. Such highlighters, they are not super long lasting. And if you have oily brown skin, you have to um, use a little bit more, first of all, and you have to apply powder over. But this highlighter, I think that I've tried something familiar from Kiko Milana. It was okay, it works nicely, and uh, well, it makes sense buying it if you don't have it. 
and if you buy it on sales of course everything is going to be far better <laughs> Okay, a new brush is available, a double brow blush brush. I simply don't really need it, so that's why I decided not buying it. Gloss Supreme Glow Enhancing Face Primer. I thought about it. I thought about it and I was thinking whether I need it or not. I like glowing primers. And they work nicely. But of course you can use instead such products from Catrice. Elf Cosmetics or Revolution Makeup. They work more or less the same way, but they do have uh, a bit of pigment. These products should work nicely as well. And if you buy it on sales, I think that why not? <laughs> why not? And it should work nicely as well with the foundation we've tried today. Gloss Supreme Glow Ink Eyeliner. I'm not a big fan of eyeliners from Kika Milan. I've tried um, at least one. From their general line and guys I don't like it it's not pigmented I don't know why it's not pigmented but it's not that good I'm not sure about this product maybe it works nicely but I'm I won't be that sure that's why I decided to skip it setting spray I am that person who doesn't believe in setting sprays let me explain why yes sometimes they do work but if you do nice long-lasting makeup if you know how to do nice long-lasting makeup you don't really need setting sprays <laughs> that's the thing of course if uh, you have extremely oily skin and even if you have extremely oily skin it's possible to do long-lasting makeup just you simply should choose correct products and you should layer them correctly and that's it for um, for a beginner maybe it may work maybe it may work and as I don't really use them that often, I decided not buying this product. Eye patches. By the way, by the way, I have tried um, a pair, at least I think so, from Kika Milana, and they work nicely. If this product is made in Korea, you can easily take it, especially on sale. Mascara. I have quite many, that's why I decided to skip it. Based on the wand, it seems that this mascara is more about volume and separation. Kika Milana has nice mascaras. If you haven't tried any, you can try. They do work quite nicely. So, of course, you can take it and yes, yes, why not? And the last product, uh, lip gloss. Again, I thought about <laughs> buying it because I like lip glosses from Kika Milana. They work quite nicely. They feel nicely and in most of the cases they are not sticky. But I do have quite many and that's that's why this time I decided to just simply skip it. Just, just in case. Magnetic Night. And yeah, I thought about buying a little bit more from this collection. But from the other side, I thought okay we are gonna have christmas collection soon and i would prefer buying more products from christmas collection so let's discuss what do we have here lovely liquid lip balm works nicely and it looks funny but decided to skip it but it looks quite funny and time to time they do have quite familiar lip glosses and uh, just in case uh, quite familiar lip glosses available from Catrice, <laughs> actually, just in case. Funny pH blush and pH lip balm. Uh, we are gonna discuss them together and I'm gonna explain why I'm not a big fan of such products. They are good for fun. If you wanna have some fun, you can definitely easily buy them and in most of the cases, they are okay. They are not super long lasting. I mean, the blush and the, ba the balm, both products, they are not super long lasting. Um, the worst thing is that you can't be sure about your final shade and um, in some cases it may appear a little bit way too pink or way too red depending on your skin and as well you can't really see you can't control how much product you're gonna use you know what I mean I think that uh, it's crucial to have control on what you are doing yes it looks funny yes it's available everywhere and moreover Lottie London had quite familiar product Catrice or Essence had quite familiar product by the way product was from Catrice was horrible because um, as far as I remember it dissolved 
foundations and quite badly. So be careful with such products. Related to lip balm, it's quite funny. It's okay, but you can buy some familiar products from Catrice or Essence. They do have quite many familiar products time to time. So I'm not sure that it's worth paying 18 and 15 euro for these two products. Face light enhancer. I, I was thinking about this product, but I decided to take foundation from Gloss Supreme Collection. Face brush. Seems quite fine and definitely you can try it, but um, it costs 18 euro. So it depends. It depends. Gravity proof eyebrow serum and mascara. Well, I've already tried a couple of products from brow products from Kika Milana and uh, their gel, eyebrow gels, they are quite nice, especially shades. They do have quite nice shades and you can as well use uh, these uh, tinted brow gels as a general tint and you can draw additional lines uh, if um, you wanted to. But this time I decided just simply not buying it and I wasn't that interested in it. I thought of buying this product, Glam Kayal and Eyeshadow. But I wasn't sure about this Kayal because it's not long lasting actually. Uh, everything which is called Kayal in most of the cases not long lasting. Gel based formulas they are long lasting. This product might be used as a base of course in order to create some or to add some de definition but this product is not going to be long lasting. But I like cream and liquid eyeshadows from Kika Milano and they are quite nice. I wasn't sure mainly about the shades um, in this collection, as far as I remember, only cold eyeshadows are available. So if you have never tried any liquid eyeshadows from Kika, try it. It may work. But bear in mind that most likely you're not going to use uh, the other side, um, th this Kayal. So that's why it's kind of from one side, if, it were, if we had liquid eyeshadow, a dedicated liquid eyeshadow, probably I bought it. But as we don't, as we have uh, these two products in one, I decided not buying it. My Beauty Secret Face Perfector. Actually, I didn't really get it. It seemed to me like it's more like a powder, but it seems from the other side that it's cream based. And uh, I'm not a big fan of pressed foundations. And I've tried already a couple of them and I've tried some from Kiki Milana. Ah, by the way, here it is. Create Your Balance Soft Touch Compact Foundation. I don't really use it as a foundation, but I use it for cleaning the edges when I draw lips. And uh, the thing is that this foundation doesn't look that good on skin. It appears more or less fine, but it simply emphasizes everything <laughs> you have any dry patches any uh, let's say texture so it doesn't really work the way it should work so that's why i wasn't really sure about this product and it cost 19 euros so i wasn't sure about it plus color story we have only three shades here and the lightest shade is not super light actually so it it even may not work for me and we have two more products left Mascara, panoramic mascara, you can try it. It may work nicely. We've already discussed mascaras from Kika Milana and twice the tint eye pencil. I like their eye pencils from Kika Milana, but this product shouldn't be super long lasting as well because it is a pencil. They have gel based eyeliners, they are gorgeous. If you have never tried gel, pencils from Kika Milano. Try them. They are beautiful. They work nicely and they are long lasting. And now we are going to discuss two new products from Kika Milano. Well, one product is not really a product. It is a new collection, which is called Dazzling Eyeshadow Palettes. Three palettes are available and just simply take a look on them. Take a look on them. Pat McGrath? No. Pat McGrath? <laughs> really? I want to try them and probably I will tr try to test them, but I wasn't sure whether I need them or not. 
Plus, I'm not sure whether you are interested in these palettes or no. But yeah, they remind me Pat McGrath so, so badly. And personally, I would prefer um, pink version. It's called Daydream. Yeah, Daydream. Beautiful. It seems quite nicely, but it costs 27 euro. Come on, Kika Milana. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're not affordable anymore. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that's live. Currently, prices are quite high. And uh, one more new release from Kiki Milana. Fragrances. And you know what? The price. Each single fragrance costs 40 euro. Probably I will try them. But I'm not quite sure whether I... <laughs> I'm gonna buy them or not, but at least it seems quite interesting and looks funny. Five, uh huh, five cents are available. So yeah, it looks quite funny and interesting and a little bit unusual for Kika Milana. And we are more or less done for today. So please let me know down below what do you think about all these products from Kika Milana. And now, uh, are you waiting for Christmas collection or no? If you don't know what to write, just simply leave several emojis or write Kika Milana and it would help the channel to grow. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if yes, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and of course consider subscribing. I wish you a pleasant day and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Ciao ciao!